Hey trainers, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Tactical Trainer, and today we're going to be opening up the new Scarlet and Violet EX series set. This is the base set for the new series of TCG cards coming out for the Scarlet and Violet era. So with my purchase, I also received a Lechonk promo card from the Pokemon Center. You can see that it has a Pokemon Center stamp here. And if you really look, you can see that it has a crimp error at the very top. So it looks like the card was maybe just in the packaging here when it was sealing the, the plastic. So I'll put the trunk in the back and we'll open this bad boy up. Okay, let's go ahead and open our first pack. So I realize this is probably the first set that a lot of new collectors are going to be opening. So if you don't know, a booster box comes with 36 different packs. Each have 10 cards and they're kind of the best way that uh, that you can start collecting. And this is the first English series we see with the silver borders. And in my opinion, I think it's actually a little better. Stone Jewelry, Sprigatito Reverse, Scalar Ridge, and Energy. Now, this is also the first English set, I believe, where uh, in modern times at least, that you don't have to do the pack trick. So normally you pull three cards from the back and you put them to the front, and that way your chase card is in the back. But in this set, you don't have to. As you can see, I'm just opening up the packs and uh, the pull card is where it's supposed to be. Look, forges, reverse switch, and annihilate. Also, if you've been watching the channel, you know I never normally open packs manually. I normally snip them, so we're trying something new here today. And I don't know if I like it. <laughs> Mareep, Silicobra, Bisharp, Ryolu, Blissey, Jack, Cario, Triflume, Klefki. By now you've probably noticed a trend. I think every pack has two reverses and a guaranteed hollow card. That's definitely a change of pace from the last sets where you weren't guaranteed anything. So a lot of times you would get packs that just don't even have a hollow card. But I think this is the uh, the new set standard, I guess, for uh, the Scarlet and Violet series. Mankey, Drowsy, and Oinkaloin EX. And as you can see, the new EXs have a completely different texture and hollow pattern than the EXs in the XY era. All right, we put Oinkaloin in the back with his uh, little brother. I've seen a lot of people say that the print quality isn't as good, but uh, I don't know, it seems to be good to me. What's going on here? Shove it. XP share. Don Dozo. Today. Alright. So nothing too crazy yet. Um, lots of people have said that the pull rates are up on this set. So I guess we shall see. Normally it was about one secret rare per booster box. Sometimes two big uh, bold print on sometimes but uh, yeah we'll see Magnemites and Arcanine EX with the fire energy fitting and as you can see the texture is completely different on the terrestrialized EX cards So another change in the series is that the sets have different rarity symbols. So before, you'd have your circles, your diamonds, uh, your stars. Now there's completely different set symbols. So the two in the back, the two EXs, they have 
I believe it's two black stars as a rarity. So they're just better than the rares. There's gold stars, uh, double gold stars. It's really just a completely new, uh, a completely new way to kind of score how rare the cards are. There's a lot of new stuff in the set. Man, the packs were so weird in this set. That's it, I'm going back to scissors. Pelpad, Flebebe, Ralts, outside the academy, Reloom, Kilowatt Roll. All right, what do we got? Halucha. All right, I'm going back to cutting. It's easier for uh, Neanderthal like myself. Magikarp, that art is sweet. Wow. Cyclozar. Crocolore, Smollett, Professor's Research. Have you guys played uh, the new Scarlet and Violet yet? What was your favorite new gen Pokemon? For me, I would probably have to say Gimme Ghoul. I think it's a kind of cool gimmick Pokemon. Smoliv and Flamigo carried pretty hard in the game. Fortress, Lechonk, and Cloth. Okay, we're about halfway through the first half. Nothing too, too crazy. So I guess we'll see what the uh, rest of the packs have to offer. Launcher, Olive, Quaxley, Ponyard, Vitality Band, Tandem and Skelleridge Hollow. Let me know down below also if you just collect the cards or do you play the actual TCG. It seems like most people just collect the cards for their art, but uh, just be curious to know how many people actually play. Rocky Helmet, Master Mabostiff. Miriam, ooh, Curlia, Character Rare, oh, Double Whammy, and the Great Tusk EX. Man, I love that pattern. Reminds me of the uh, old Hollow Bleed. That Curlia is super cool. There's a complete set, uh, evolution set, you know, Ralts, Curlia, Guard of War. All with character rares or alt arts of them growing up through the family. It's pretty neat. So I kind of hope I get the uh, Gardevoir. Muck, Florges, Greedent. Oh, nice, cried on EX. That cry down was perfect. I got the Scarlet version of the game, which is what I played, so that works out well for me. What'd you guys get? I'm gonna guess probably the majority got Violet. That's kind of what I've been seeing online at least. So the majority of people picked Violet. Which I don't blame you, Maridon's pretty sweet. And another Crydon, all right. Okay. See we got we're approaching the end of the first half of the box and honestly the pulls aren't too too bad i mean there's nothing crazy but i mean the frequency at which we're getting some pulls is i don't know i think better than a lot of the other sets we've had in english professor's research arvin another professor's research Ponyard, Wiglet, Toad School, Sandile, Arbin, Porkholes. Whoa! Whoa! Hopefully, there wasn't think anything too good. Nope. <laughs> uh, 
All right, weasel. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the silver borders better than the normal gold border borders? I think it's uh, complements the cards a little better, especially because you can do hollow around the borders like this. I mean, this isn't even that uh, you know that good of a card, but it looks amazing with the holographic borders. Okay, last pack of the first half. And so far, the first half's been pretty good to us, I'd say. I mean, three EXs, well, technically four. The fourth is a full art. And a character rare, I mean, that's pretty good. No secret rare yet, so we'll see. All right, Growlithe. Oh, secret rare. Electric energy. See, and that's what I was talking about. So there's the three gold star rarity right down here. The centering doesn't look too, too bad. And on the back, it looks not too, too bad. A little bit top heavy, but honestly, not too bad. All right, so hopefully that wasn't our only secret rare of the box. I mean, not that the electric energy is super lame, but uh, I'd like to get a alt art or, you know, something a little cooler. But I think there's some pretty playable electric decks right now, so maybe that's a sought after card, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm right on. Sprigatito, Seviper, Houndour, Nest Ball, Pachirisu, Picnic Basket, and Slowbro. Honestly, this Slowbro art is better than some of the EXs, honestly. So, leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying your content that you're watching and you want to see more. Got a few other Scarlet and Violet sets that came in and we'll take a look at them in the near future. So we just pulled up uh, Spy Dops EX. And shout out for any of my old uh, collectors or openers. I mean, if you're in the black and white or EX era opening cards, and that's not even that old, I mean, you're not pulling these many hits. <laughs> you might be pulling maybe two EXs and a full art, a box, but uh, nothing. Nothing like this. Also, shout out to my uh, pack openers that use scissors. I mean, it's just so much more proficient. You know, why wouldn't you? <laughs> Smoliv, Buizel, Escadra. Mankey, Squawkabilly, Caps Kid, Katie. Oh, another hollow. Growlithe. Growlithe. Shup it. Oh. All right, Arvin. Ooh, my boss stiff. He's a hungry boy looking for that sandwich. Generator, very playable card. What trio, Judge, Rocky Helmets. Wow. <laughs> I should not be opening up cards today, I don't think. Alright, Smoliv, Primeape, Pommy, Cacturn, Driflim, Misagoza, and Klefki. Have you guys seen the new uh, Paldia Evolve series that's coming up in June? I think it uh, looks pretty good. I'd say it's probably the one to, to buy if you're going to look to invest in something. It's got triple beat. Ooh, cloth. Anyways, as I was saying, 
it's got triple beat and it's got the clay burst and the snow whatever japanese set that's releasing earlier this week or sorry later next week so i think it's gonna be pretty huge oh katie centering looks pretty good overall no obvious damage or texture shift the back looks pretty good just a little a little something right there overall not too bad so i think the palladia of all sets gonna be good it should have iona in it um dendra will be in it i imagine so i think there's gonna be some pretty heavy uh, waifu tax cards in there. Ooh, iron treads. And it'll be interesting to see how the Japanese 151 set is integrated into the English TCG. Not really sure if they're going to do like a separate set. Maybe integrate some of the cards in with a new set that's coming out, kind of like they're doing right now with Palladia Evolved, but. It does make sense though, the way they're doing it, combining uh, Triple Beat and Clay Burst and the Snow Set all in one to Palladium Vault, because I think we are one set behind technically right now, so it should work out better that way. We're all caught up. Cycles are. All right, we're down to the wire. After this, there's three more packs, so I don't know if we're gonna pull anything else that's uh, on the higher end or not see oh professor's research honestly i'm pretty happy with the box we got some pretty good pulls can't be uh can't be too greedy right save some pulls for the next box launcher and hollow crydon Okay, let's see what we got. Did anybody actually use this Pokemon in their playthrough? Just genuinely curious. Stumbled across it early on and never ended up trying it out, but I don't see it anywhere really. Rotom Skelleridge. All right, let's see what this last pack magic can get us. Not really a believer in it, but uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Slowbro, and then Reverse, and Annihilate Apollo. Well everyone, thanks for watching. Overall, I don't think it was too bad of a box. I think we got uh, pretty good pulls here, especially with KD and the Secret Rare Electric Energy. And gotta say, I love Crydon. So I think at the end of the day, some pretty good pulls. If you guys liked what you watched, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, especially if you watched it this far. Might as well subscribe. In the next video, we're going to be talking about some tips to consider when investing in Pokemon cards. Thanks again, everyone. Have a good one.